Shalom to you from oneforisrael.org. The marvelous Torah portion before us is called Vayetze, Hebrew for He Went Out. It details Jacob's journey of faith with God and God's faithfulness to his promises and covenant to Abram. It also portrays a wonderful and prophetic vision which clearly points us to the Messiah. We will focus on Jacob's dream, often referred to as Jacob's letter or stairway to heaven, the original one. Let's read Genesis 28, 12 to 17. And he dreamt, and behold, there was a letter set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lay I will give to you and to your offspring. Your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And in you and your offspring shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Behold, I am with you, and will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you, until I have done what I have said, what I have promised you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. We see a meaningful and striking parallel between Jacob's journey of faith and that of his grandfather Abraham. One, both let, left their father houses. Two, both make their first stop at Bethel, where God spoke to both. And third, to both God promises the Abrahamic blessing at Bethel. God's affirmation of the Abrahamic covenant to Jacob is a great encouragement for us. God means what He says. Like Jacob, we serve a faithful God whom we can trust with our lives and hold on to His promises. Praise Him! Many interesting interpretations are suggested for the prophetic meaning of the letter. A theme that permeates early Jewish thought is that the letter is a form of communication between the heavens and God's Shekinah glory Himself and humanity. Most ancient Jewish commentaries understood the letter as representing the tabernacle or the temple, which through the sacrifices and priesthood connects fallen humans to the Holy God. Now interestingly, in the Gospel of John chapter 1, a true Israelite, Nathanael, comes to seek the Messiah. To Nathanael's sincere seeking, Yeshua said in verse 51, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened, and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Yeshua's words here make a clear connection to Jacob's letter. So Yeshua's response clearly affirms the general Jewish understanding of Jacob's letter. Indeed, it is symbolizing a connection between heaven and earth. But it does not merely point to the tabernacle or the temple. No, Yeshua said it points to Him. He is the letter. He is the connection, the meeting point between the Holy God and fallen humans. The Messiah is the one who took the form of flesh and who sacrificed Himself for us, therefore descending from heaven, and who also rose from the dead and is now at the right hand of the Father as our High Priest, thus ascending to heaven. Yeshua is the fulfillment of Jacob's letter. Indeed, He is the heart and meaning of all the Torah. That is why He said, If you believe in Moses, you will believe in Me. Please join us next week for another installment of Five Alive. Wishing you God's Shalom from One for Israel. And don't forget to share.